Welcome once again, fellow Madridistas. So, Real Madrid have spent a lot of money in the signing of Aurelian Tramani and the signing bonuses, and everything for Antonio Rudiger would have had a fair share of the money involved as well. But that doesn't really mean that Real Madrid have no money for other signings, they just don't have the roster spots for anyone else. They did sign Noel Lopez for Castilla. But even though Real Madrid let Gareth Bale, Isco and Marcelo go, there are still sales to be made before they can sign anyone. But according to reports from AS, Real Madrid have already informally recognized Jude Bellingham as their top target for 2023. According to Cadena SER, as recognized by AS in the report, Real Madrid will make an offer of about 90 million euros, but it is believed that the figure would have to be more than that to convince Dortmund. The fact that Bellingham signed a contract till 2025 and that there is no release clause in the contract makes it really tough for Real Madrid to wrap it up for less than 100 million euros because if they don't pay up, someone else will. Real Madrid's midfield will then have four amazing players if this deal is completed in 2023. Bellingham, Fede Valverde, Eduardo Camavinga and Aurelian Chouameni. If you haven't realized it yet, that is an insanely good midfield with a lot of talent. If Real gets it done, their midfield for the next 10 to 15 years is sorted out. But the asking price is a lot, whichever way you look at it. Bellingham is still only 18 years old. Real Madrid spent 25 million on an 18 year old Eduardo Camavinga. It's a lot of money, and I think that if they do end up in signing him, it will be great. There still are three immensely talented midfielders. That can take over from Real's famed trial of Tony Cruz, Casemiro, and Luca Modric. That's all for now, Los Blancos. Like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.